American Horror Story Season 8 has finally come to a close with what is arguably one of the most tied together seasons of a television show ever. Episode 10, Apocalypse Then, finally brought everything full circle and throughout this video I'll be discussing the ins and outs of the season finale. There will of course be heavy spoilers, so if you don't want to know what happens then I suggest you turn off now. For everyone else, welcome to the channel, I'm Definition and I ruin it so you don't have to. By the end of season 8 we see that the apocalypse has been reversed and the world has been saved. However, in doing so, a new antichrist has been created that will undoubtedly play a huge part in season 9. But how do we get there? Well there's several events that led to the final timeline correction. Thanks to a bunch of intricately laced plans by Cordelia, both Coco and Mallory had their memories erased and were placed at Outpost 3 to ensure that there were some witches that still remained at the end of the apocalypse. This allowed the Coven to remain dormant until necessary which is when they returned and bestowed power upon Mallory once more. There's some huge moments that follow which involve Cordelia sacrificing herself in order to revive Mallory who stabbed to death by her now mutant ex-boyfriend. This sacrifice allowed Mallory to travel back in time to the day that Michael aged 10 years overnight and stop him before he became unstoppable. It's some Terminator timeline fix that sees Constance kick Michael out on the day that he killed the priest instead of sheltering and nurturing him. Michael, a distraught that Constance has abandoned him, runs out into the road where he's hit by a car that has Mallory behind the wheel. If only Arnie had have done that, then we never would have gotten the terrible, terrible Terminator Genesis. Anyway, in his dying breaths, Michael begs Constance to take him to Murder House to die so that he'll be able to become an immortal ghost. Constance, however, refuses this and tells him to go to hell, which is when the character dies. It's sort of the usual, would you go back in time and kill Hitler if you could debate, and I'm glad that the creators of America American horror story say yes, yes I would. Mallory then lets events play out as they normally would and returns to study as a student once more amongst the witches. Because it's now 2015, three years before the nuclear blast, Cordelia is still alive, as are the students who were slain by Michael in the future. With Mallory stopping the apocalypse, she is now on good terms with several underworld demons and manages to negotiate Misty's revival. While some characters are at a loss, everything seems fine by the finale, so it's a bittersweet finish. However, it's not over yet and with time being reversed, this also means that Emily and Tim were never poisoned by the apples that led to their downfall. Whilst they seem pretty unimportant to the overall storyline of Season 8, we do indeed learn that the creators may have further plans for them in Season 9. Tim, earlier in the show, was haunted by mysterious whispers and the numbers 666 that appeared on his bathroom mirror. Now that the two are free of the apocalypse, they meet and have a son named Devin, who they come home to one day to discover that he's just as evil as as Michael was. Outside, the sky turns red and Anton LaVey and his Church of Satan Cardinals arrive at the house to state that this is the day that they've been waiting for. Eagle Eye viewers will recognise this phrase for when they did the same thing to Michael in the altered timeline and it hints that things are still going to go ahead with the new Antichrist. As Michael stated, the prophecy is inevitable and it seems like Satan has a plan for every scenario. While some of the events now could not happen the way that they were meant to, including a vast majority of the hotel, we can assume that these events may have played out similarly due to the fact that Tim and Emily still met, which showcases that the universe will find a way to correct itself and that the apocalypse may still unwind further down the line. Season 9 has room to pretty much do what it wants to now and it will be interesting to see how it plays out with a new foundation and villain at the helm. So, what are your thoughts on the finale of Season 8? Did you enjoy it and what are your top 5 seasons of the show? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of TV's other huge show The Walking Dead which will be linked at the end of this episode. This is a channel for people who are never missing television so if that's the kind of thing you like you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.